Alright, welcome back. Let's continue with our three-phase induction model. We have just said that in many industrial applications, AC induction model, three-phase induction model is often, uh, often used because of its uh, power, high power. Now, normally a model will come with a nameplate. Nameplates give you specification, in other words, the rated conditions value. An example of a nameplate of an induction model, they will specify the output power. For example, if it says that this is a 50 horse, horsepower model, in other words, it has 50 horsepower. Horsepower is another unit for power. Okay, one horsepower is actually 746 watt. So 50 horsepower will be 50 multiply 746 watt. Okay, now horsepower is a unit used for power. And uh, why horse? Because in the old days before industrial revolution, horses were carrying goods. So we were, uh, they were estimating you know, one horse can carry so much good and with that we convert it into a power. So that is called one horse power. Rotor speed, the maximum speed that a motor can run. Line current, the maximum current that can go into the uh, motor. The frequency, for example, in Singapore is 50 Hz. Uh, but because it's an AC motor, so it works with AC uh, power, right? so it must be able to work with certain frequency. And phase, whether it's a three phase power supply, uh, three phase normally is three phase. Efficiency, you know, uh, even though you, the, it's very, in a practical world, it's very impossible to get 100% efficient motor. So efficiency gives you the estimated the efficiency, usually, let's say, 85%, 87% efficiency. Bar factor, that is our cosine theta in AC theory, right? the phase angle between the voltage and the current. Temperature, what is the highest temperature that the motor can work in in, a, in, a, in that condition? Now, nameplate gives you the maximum condition. So if you were to run your motor under the nameplate information, you're actually making it run under the rated condition, it, everything is maximum. Right, so that's what is useful about the nameplate information. Now, when we do a simple uh, example involving calculation of line current, things like that, before we do that, we must familiar, familiarize ourselves with three simple formula. Efficiency is equal to output divided by input power. Uh, if you make the percentage, you multiply by 100%. And in three phase theory, Input power, three phase power, square root three line voltage multiply line current multiply cosine theta, the power factor. Uh, input power is so square root three VL IL cosine theta, uh, or power factor. And the top formula is still the same as our DC model, 60 over 2 pi n multiply output power. Now we need to know how to calculate torque because a lot of time when you use motor, you, because you want to use it for certain application. Right? So you need to size up the motor according to the work needed or the torque needed. So with the power that's given, you are able to calculate out the torque value uh, with, the speed, with the speed that you want to operate the motor at. At the particular speed, what is the torque it can take. Okay, so we then let's now go through a simple uh, mathematical examples of a three-phase induction motor. Alright, so the question is, this is a three-phase induction motor and it's a 12 pole. Remember we say about a pole P and a 220 volt, 60 hertz system, right? and it has 50 horsepower induction motor and uh, at a rated load, which is the maximum load, and it has a speed of 595 RPM, running at a speed of 595 RPM and the efficiency is 89% efficient. Efficiency. You see? And the bar factor is equal to 0 0.81. 0 0.81. Unlikely. It's an inductive load. Right? And the question is A. Find the rated line current. B, find the rated torque. Rated means maximum. Alright, so let's repeat this question. It's a three-phase induction motor. It's 12 pole. 
the input voltage is 220 volt, 60 hertz, 50 horsepower, output power, and the input power is always output power, 595 RPM, 89% efficiency, bar factor is 0.81. They asked to find rated line current. Now look back on our formula here. We need to find line current, in other words, we need to know this. Right, so we need to use this formula. In order to use this formula, we need to know the, the other parameters. So let's interpret the questions. Line voltage, yes, I'm given 220 volts. Power factor is equal to 0 0.81. Right, power factor is 0 0.81. Input power, I do not know. But I'm given efficiency. I'm given efficiency. And efficiency is here. So if I have efficiency, and I have the uh, I, I need to know input power. If I know output power, output power is given 50 horsepower. So with that, I can find input power. And when I find the input power, I put into here, then my line current can be found. Right? And to find torque is 60 over 2 pi n multiplied. With that, I already have my output power, the 50 horsepower. Speed is given 595 RPM. So torque can also be found. Got it? So we just make use of these uh, formulates to do these mathematical examples. So let us go through it. Alright, start with the efficiency first. Okay, so the uh, output power is equal to 50 horsepower. Make it into SI unit times 746 watt. And that is equal to 37300 watts. Alright? And efficiency, efficiency is output divided by input. Right? Times 100%. So I have 89%, that is equal to 37300 divided by input power, multiply 100. So therefore, input power can be calculated and input power is equal to 41. If I look at my answers, 41910.11 watt. Right, so I already got my input power. Then I move on to find my current. Right? P in is equal to square root 3 PL IL times power factor. Power factor. So that is 41910.11 square root 3 times 2 to 0 IL is unknown power factor is given 0.81 so therefore line current can be found okay and let me see what is the answers the main answer at line current is 135.78 ampere right so that is part A that's how you find the rated line current make use of the efficiency and the upper power I get the input power. After getting the input power, input power is the square root 3 VL IL cosine theta. I find my line current. Right? Now part B is to find the torque. To find the torque, the output torque, I use the formula 60 over 2 pi nr multiply output power. Right? And the speed is given, the name plate given is 595 rpm. And the output power is equal to uh, 37300 watt. So with that, the output torque can be calculated. And that value is 598.64 newton meters. Right? So do you get a hang of the uh, simple calculation of the three phase induction model? Because it's three phase, so we therefore have to use a three phase uh, AC. Methods of calculation. Uh, that is the square root 3 VL IL cosine theta. Alright, thank you.